hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can use rike to manage your project so having said that let's just jump into the video so over here i'm on rike.com and over here this is a pretty simple website as you can see so over here what we're going to do is we're just simply going to go ahead and click on start for free over here and we'll begin so i'm going to be creating a fresh account today so don't worry all right if you want to skip the intro or the sign up process you can go ahead and skip it but if you want to know how it works stick to it so i'm just simply going to go ahead and enter in my email address over here and click on start today and once you've done that they're basically going to tell you to check your inbox for the verification so over here just check your email for your verification and over here just enter in the information that you see over here so ideally how many team members you have so i'm going to choose one to five you can choose whichever one you want i'm just looking around and just submit your results right i'm just simply going to go ahead and check my email address and verify the account so over here this will be your email address just simply click on confirm your email and it's going to open up another tab and where you can go ahead and continue with your setup so over here as you can see just enter in your full name create a password add in your phone number and you are good to go so over here i'm going to choose project management how large is your company two to 20 employees and over here just enter in the name of your team so i'm just simply going to write when media team over here and i'm simply going to click on enter and then over here what is your team currently working on so i'm just simply going to write um, voiceovers for tsg and then i'm just simply going to click on next and then over here just keep answering a bunch of different questions so over here what needs to be done right now so over here is going to be your business case then you have your project plan and then you have your kickoff meeting right so you can add different projects over here you don't even have to do it like that so i'm just simply going to write like for example this video right here so i'm going to write how to use Rike, right I added that then i'm going to add another one how to use trello how to use ClickUp. and once you've added that just simply click on next and then over here they're going to ask you how would you group those tasks right so over here you can say like this week week two week three so for now i'm just simply going to write week one over here then we have week two and then we will write week three so you can even add in you know another thing so you can maybe like add in a brackets may so this will be like you know may's first week and then may's second week and may's third week you get the idea right and once you've added that just simply click on next and boom as you can see over here in the preview this is how it looks like pretty simple and then over here you can have a view so you have list view you have your boards you have your gants and you have your table right currently this is the table view then you have the gant list view which is going to be looking like this and then you have boards which look like this and then you have your gant view it all depends on you how you feel like it i personally like the board view because it provides you with a you know similar a pretty simple overview so you have three columns you have your you know tasks over here then you have your in progress task and then you have your completed task like pretty simple right nothing too crazy and once you've added your tasks in them you've set up your view just simply click on next and we can continue so over here next you can add in your team members over here so for example you can add in your team members email list over here so i'm going to be adding some emails but i'm going to be using a temp email service which is like temporary email that provide you with disposable emails that you know change every few days so it's pretty simple so we just copy that email and i'm going to paste it over here and then I can add a bunch of different other emails and then we can continue and once you've done that it's you're pretty much good to go so this is how it's going to look like this is going to be your dashboard over here you're going to have your tasks you have your bars over here you have your columns you know you can add different things right so and over here you will have your projects and folders you will have different projects and different folders and in them you're going to have these boards right you can go ahead and add new tasks so over here for example i add a new task let's say you know how to use Rike over here and then that is a task that has been created then i can write another task how to use trello again that's another task and how to use clickup that's another task right pretty much that's it you know simple things now you can assign different tasks to different people right since you've added other people into your team members so whenever you click on a task you will see this little pops up and in that you will have more details about different projects so over here you can add a signee you can add the description of the task over here so basically you can add like give a basic overview on Rike. you can add that 
and over here you can assign this task to a bunch of different assignees that you've added so for example i'll assign this task to this person or this person can assign this task to himself and whenever on over here you can see the icon that is going to suggest that this person is now in charge of this task so whenever someone you know is going to do this task they're going to just simply move the task into in progress bar over here which will indicate that this task is in progress and this person is doing that and once it's completed they'll just simply move it over here right now if there is some sort of you know hiccup within that task then they can do is they can move it onto this board right here on hold and you know we can go ahead and try to solve that problem as well and they can add like another issue over here they can add like a subtask or add a detachment or they can you know or you know they can add like over here add a comment like you know there is an issue with the sign up process and i can't seem to sign up like pretty simple right so they can add that over here and you will it's on hold you know the project manager or the person in charge will look at it and see over here and then they will try to solve that problem if it's not then they can move it over here onto canceled and that's just that so pretty much that's it right and you have other you know options as well like you can add different applications to it as well so for example if i wanted to like you know add uh maybe you know a different view i can change the different view over here so click on this button and you can change the view over here so you have the table view over here you have the gantt view over here like everything is pretty simple and you have the list view as well so you don't have to worry about that so this was basically how it's done right this was the main uh process now what if you wanted to you know go to create a new project you know how would you be able to do that so in right you have spaces as i said before so over here you have your personal this is the space that we created right so if you wanted to add a new space just simply click on the plus button over here and then you have request you have space you have folders project task whatever you want so we wanted to create a new space we we'll click on space and then we can create a new space accordingly to the requirement of that project so over here you have a bunch of different options it's like it engineering or marketing agency or marketing team operations pmo services and consulting you know and then you have your general purpose views over here like you can go ahead and copy them right like these are basically templates so for example if i were to add like a daily tasker i would just simply click over here onto view and i can view the template as well and this is how it looks like right pretty simple and this is going to have the following features it's going to have folders tasks dashboard request forms reports calendar custom flow right pretty simple so over here you could just simply select it and then this template will be available to you so once that's done you are good to go so those are all the things that you needed to know about right and how you can use it to set up and create and manage your own project management tool so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that Thank you guys for watching and until next time, take care and goodbye.